and welcome back to the A Cherry on Top YouTube channel. I'm Jessica and today's video is for our May YouTube hop. On this hop we are giving away a $15 Cherry on Top gift card and to be entered to win that leave a comment on this video and then also check out the other videos in the hop from our design team and leave a comment on those videos as well. Today I am doing a alcohol ink layout, actually a double page layout, and for this hop we are focusing on our favorite tools. And because I'm doing alcohol ink, my favorite tool is the Tim Holtz alcohol ink air blower. It's really what you need to use if you're doing anything with alcohol ink. To start with alcohol ink you have to work with a non-porous surface and so I decided to create my own using glossy accents and I did some thick layers on some regular cardstock. I probably applied my glossy accent on my pages too thick because I had some big globs and then also a little bit of crackling texture, but I'm just going with it because I don't mind it at all. But I would suggest if you want just a clean surface to work on, do smaller coats and do multiple coats of them. You could also work on Yupo paper, which is like a paper made out of plastic because that is also a non-porous surface, but because I wanted to work in 12 by 12, I decided to make my own. Now I'm starting to apply the alcohol inks and I'm using mostly Tim Holtz brand because that's most of what I have, but I'm also mixing in some of the other inks I have as well. I like that they can be mixed and matched, and the only rule is once you start using pearls, which is in the Tim Holtz ink line, you have to use blending solution. If you're not using the pearls, you can use isopropyl alcohol instead and use that to make your inks flow around nicely. But as soon as you add the pearls, you need to switch to using the blending solution. If you don't, you'll end up with really chunky looking pearls. My process for this is to add a few drops of the color that I want and then add maybe some other colors of ink around it and then I pour on the blending solution and blow it around and move it up and all around the page wherever I want it. There's a lot of control with this blower which is what I really like and you can decide how hard you want to blow it or how far you want your air to go which I think is really nice. And alcohol ink is a medium that dries very quickly because it's just alcohol and it evaporates. So you do have to work a little bit quickly, but you can always use the blending solution or the isopropyl alcohol to get your ink moving and flowing again. So you'll see I'll go back over the this rainbow and I can add to it or I can take away or I can blend it up a little bit more. I really love the look of the pearls. They have a nice shine and it's just a different look. So I tried to add a pearl in most of these colors and I'm using the whole rainbow because I want this spread to be a really artsy crafty spread because I will be scrapping photos from when Rachel and I went to Creativation last month. I also like to go around the edges of all of my ink blobs and add a little bit more of that blending solution to make the edges a bit softer and to blend them down into all of the white space that I have left on this page. There were a few times where I got some finger marks here and there on the white of my page, but I was able to take the blending solution and just wipe it away. There are so many 
really cool techniques that you can do with alcohol ink and I like this technique because I feel like it's one of the easier ones. I just add a blob of ink, add a little bit of blending solution, and blow it with the blower. I don't try to have a really concrete plan when I'm doing this because I know the ink kind of has a mind of its own and I go into the project with that mindset and I'm usually pretty happy with how it turns out. After I'm finished with this page, I'll also be showing how I would do this same technique just on black paper and it'll turn out completely different but cool in its own way. So let me know in the comments which way you prefer. Do you like it on the white paper or do you like it on the black? So starting with the black, I added some of the ink and when you just add the ink, you cannot see it on the black at all. The thing that makes it stand out is this white ink that I'm adding to it and that's really important when you're working on black. The pearls also show up nicely on black, but even when I'm using the pearls, I'll still add this white mixture to it just to help it really stand out. Throughout doing this page, I found that the best way to work was to add the white, a good amount of the white, and then either add some of the colored ink that I want or the blending solution and then blow it around. And I also noticed when working on the black, it takes a lot more ink and layers to get the nice saturated color that I was going for and that I had on the white. So just keep that in mind when you're working on the black. It is a little bit trickier, so if you're new to alcohol ink, try out the white first and get a technique down before moving to the black. Um, that's just what I'd recommend. But Again, I'm using the same techniques where I'm adding the ink, adding the white this time, and adding the blending solution, and then just blowing it around. Again, I'm letting the ink kind of determine where it wants to go, and I'm pretty cool where, with where it ended up. I mentioned that I had a bit of a crackly texture in my paper after adding so much of the glossy accents. So I wanted to really use that. So I tried to get my ink to flow in those cracks, especially towards the ends, like where it's tapering off into the black. So to do that, I just used a lot of blending solution on the edges and tried to push as much ink into the furthest cracks that it could go. I actually found that red was the hardest color to do with this and I think that's because when I added more and more red on the white it just turned a little bit orange so I decided to compensate for that by adding more pink over where the red was. So you might find that some colors work better with this than others. Like I said, all of the pearls turned out really beautifully, so I relied more on the pearls on this black page. I still think it's a really fun page, and when I'm doing a double page layout, like what I'm trying to do here, I don't like them to be super matchy-matchy. I want them each to be a nice page on their own, but then they could also come together to create the whole story. So that's why I thought it would be fun to show both the white and the black. Now I'm going to move on to one of my other favorite tools, which is a stamping platform. There has actually been quite a few different stamping platforms coming out lately, and I have been loving them all. I don't even like to stamp now without a stamping platform. So there's the Sizzix Stamp and Stencil tool, and I use that one probably the most, but today I am using this 12 by 12 We Are one, which is really handy when you're trying to have stamping over a whole 12 by 12 page because I could just lay them out and then stamp them down. 
and I like that I can add a double layer. This was some scary stamping for me because I had that beautiful background and then you don't want to mess it up with some bad stamping. So the stamping platform really came in handy for this. On the black I stamped it in white ink and then on the white page I'm going to use some black ink to stamp it. And again that's going with the idea that this double page layout they are similar but different. This is an older stamp set I had from Honeybee and it had all of these crafty tools on them so I thought that it would be perfect. And then I have this crafty saying. And one tip that I like to do with my stamping, especially stamping on a surface like this, which isn't completely flat and might have a little bit of difficulty here and there getting the stamps done, is take a paint pen and you can go over your areas where it didn't stamp uh, dark enough or on the case of the white, light enough. I use the Dilusions paint pens. Uh, I didn't have to actually touch up much on the white, but I went over like where it said crafty on the black. To finish this page, I used some gems in all colors of the rainbow and applied them on the page, and that was it. I'm super happy with how these turned out, and make sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching!